Hello everybody, and welcome back to The Bright Side. I'm your hostess Ty, and I'm back here today with more Tales of Vesperia. Last time we left off, we finally got to the Desert City, which I can't remember the name of because I couldn't pronounce it the first time, so I never bothered to remember it. But, <laughs> now we're going to go and get those little cutscenes with all of our fellow group members, so that we can keep going towards our goal. You can't open that without a key. Which is to find Pharaoh. I know. Are you really going to return it? Yes, I am. You got a problem with that? Nope. You saw what happened in Nordopolica. This thing made it so I couldn't control my magic. The clear CL crystal inside this box interferes with air somehow. Interferes with air? How could a tiny box like this do something like that? I don't know. That's why I wish I could open this box somehow. There's a good chance that we'd be able to find a key for the box in Jormgen. For me, this doesn't have anything to do with Estelle wanting to return it anymore. So then you're gonna look for the town of Jormgen that was mentioned in that diary? Yes, if I can. If you can? I can't leave Estelle behind. Sure you can, if you want to. I'd like to leave her behind, but I can't. <clears throat> never had a problem like this before. Why? She couldn't be serious about going alone into the desert, could she? Oh yes, she is entirely serious. Okay. Hey old man, sorry to have dragged you all the way out here. What's with that face? Hearing you apologize like that puts me a little bit on edge is all. I mean, you still have to deliver that letter to Elias, right? I slightly want to use that face yeah, but if I can't as my thumbnail, moon, even though I'm so that, sure ain't. it will not be relevant by the time I'm done with this video. Until then, I'm at the mercy of the princess's whims. Well, well, aren't you easy going? You sure about that? If we spend too long out here and you miss the new moon, the dumb will yell at you for sure. Nah, I'm used to being yelled at. If I gotta wait, I can wait until the next new moon. It ain't like we're gonna run out of new moons anytime soon. You certainly sound patient. You sure about this? Of course. Patience is something you'll learn with age. Ugh, I swear. Well, making the right decisions is part of being an adult too. I'll leave as soon as I feel like I have to. Anyway, let me travel with you kids for a while longer. Sure, whatever you want. I haven't come up with any new plans since my last video, so no updates on that really. Except I think I have a set date for when I'm going to start streaming. But uh, I'll make a post about that, probably. I feel like my world is crashing down around me. I can't believe Ruben's Gate was secretly selling weapons and that they were smuggling them illegally out of ruins. Sometimes you have to have shadow where there's light, I guess. That's so sad, though. You don't need to worry about those guys. Just keep living your life the way you know is right and lead brave Vesperia to victory with pride. Yeah, you're right. Anyway, we need to worry about Pharaoh for now. Yeah, we finally made it into the desert. It feels like we're almost there. Hey, once we're done with this commission, you think we could go back to Dongrass for a bit? Hmm. Well, let's wait until we've wrapped up our current job to talk about that. Oh, yeah, sure. So there is one thing that I wanted to do that I forgot to do in between episodes. And that is take this off. Uh, I think I'm actually going to go with nothing for him right now. I'll give him something later, but I wanted to actually get rid of that because I actually got kind of tired of not being able to see his face. Surprise, surprise. Oh, where are you off to? Nowhere in particular, just going on a walk. What about you? Where were you going? I just wanted to get a look at the desert terrain we're going to be headed into next. 
It's good to be prepared. So how was it? It was hot. Well, I assumed as much. But it wasn't as hot as I thought it'd be. Hmm. Well, okay. But what I wanted to know was if Pharaoh was out there. Right. That'd be nice. Oh, well. I guess we couldn't expect him to be that easy to find. <sighs> what? You want to go out and check for yourself? No, that's okay. If we head out to look for him, we should do it together. Oh, I see. All right, there's Judith. And now, where's her feet, actually? Where's my good boy? Let me get you. Oh, you found me. Oh, wait, the Wonder Reporter? Wait, what? While you sleep, I've been sneaking in and updating your wonder log. Oh no, you know my precious secret, and yet you're the first person I've ever told. It's alright. Just let this stay our little secret, and I'll keep sneaking up to your bedside and working my magic. Oh no, I think I just violated the reporter's code of confidentiality. Goodbye. I'm scared. Okay, but I was not expecting that. I was expecting to get you, actually. I like how the Wonder Chef and Wonder Reporter were right next to each other. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty good because I found you hiding as a bouncing cactus with a chef hat. <laughs> but anyways, be for curry. Okay, obtain three sets of ingredients. And he's off to hide in his next devious location. Where is Repeat? Oh, look, Patty. Huh? You're still here? What? Were you feeling lonely and came to find me? Isn't the reason that you've been wandering around here because you're the one who's lonely and wanted to see me? You got me. Now marry me. Oh, wow. I'll consider it when you're an adult. Ah, there you are. Who are you? Uh, just an acquaintance of hers. He's my husband. Uh. Well, whatever. I got the info about the Maristella that you wanted. I appreciate that. But first, is it true that you're Eifried's granddaughter? Huh? It's a rumor I heard. Is it true? Hmm. So it is true. If that's the case, then I can't give this to you. If it gets out that I did business with the granddaughter of a guy who broke the guild's rules, no one will trust me. Eifried is... I don't know about you. But for those of us who live in the world of the guilds, Eifried is the most unforgivable guy out there. I can't afford to be involved with someone going around claiming to be one of his relatives. So don't you show your face in front of any of us ever again. Yikes. And if you pull anything on any of the members of my guild out of resentment, we're not gonna take it lying down. I can guarantee you you'll regret it if you think that World Cellar is no more than a map-making guild. But I'd never do anything like that. Oh, really? In any case, the blood of a coward who would attack ships while feigning to protect them runs through your veins. I can't even begin to guess what's running through your head. <sighs> and as for you, I don't know if you're really her husband, but I'd suggest steering clear of this one. So you just take it all in silence, huh? I just don't know whether he's actually my grandfather and what actually happened in that massacre. But I don't know what's true and what's a lie, whether he was a villain or a saint. All I know is that my grandfather was very important to me. That is why I can neither admit or deny what people say. So you don't even know who you are yourself, huh? I know that much at least. Then wasn't there something you could have said? It's okay. I'm used to people saying all sorts of things about my grandfather. I don't care about any of that nonsense. I'll just keep searching for treasure in my own way. You're putting on a pretty tough act. You better not start crying once you're all on your own. What good would crying get me? You see, my motto is, no matter how tough the situation is, crying gets you nowhere. Well, I guess it's really none of my business. Still, it's not like you can go treasure hunting without any clues. Oh, don't worry. I've got clues. Later. Oh, I just realized Repeat's with me. I was looking for him. 
Lord. Yuri. Hey, why the long face? Is the desert really as dangerous as they say? I don't think Rita would joke around with such a serious look on her face. Yeah, I guess not. I've dragged all of you all the way out here. You should stop worrying about all of us. Huh? I mean, we're just doing what we feel like doing. But what about you? What do you want to do? M me? I... You were saying that you need to figure out who you are, weren't you? Yes, that's true, but... Estelle, you're Brave Vesperia's client. If you tell us to go somewhere, we'll go there. And if you tell us to go for you, we'll find Pharaoh and drag him back here. Yuri. Then I... There's no need to rush to give me an answer. Take your time. <sighs> Look at that oasis. That's such a nice view. If you plan on crossing the desert, you have to make sure you have enough water. If you don't keep hydrated, you'll shrivel up like mummy. you. Huh? What's going on, Still? What's this? This is payment for your services. I'm sure you'll be able to sell it for quite a sum. I want to thank you all for everything you've done. Huh? What do you mean? You haven't found what you're looking for yet. I'm afraid I must take my leave from you here. Oh. Take your leave? What are you gonna do? You're not thinking of going alone, are you? My desire to meet Pharaoh is a personal one. Are you crazy? That's way too dangerous! Which is why I must go alone. I won't have the rest of you caught up any further in my own selfish quest. Do justice and punish the unjust. Huh? Oh, right. That's one of the laws of our guild. There's no justice in letting Estelle march into the heart of the desert all by herself. I don't think I have it in me to break our laws. How about you, Carol? Right! It seems those are the rules. I'm terribly flattered, really, but I'm afraid I can't let you. Man, you can't really Estelle, stop them either. wait! Have you all lost your marbles? We're talking about a force of nature here. Which is why we're all going together. I'll admit I'm a little scared, but I can't just let Estelle go off like that. You! You talk some sense into them! If I start whining now, I'll have to go all the way back to Nordopolica by myself, right? That's no fun. Ooh, there's no reasoning with any of you! Are you sure you're dead set on this? Yes, I've thought a lot about this. You all have something that's important to you. A goal you gave everything to achieve. I realized that I didn't have anything like that for myself. And I knew I had to find a purpose of my own. Something I can dedicate myself to. I made the decision to begin this journey, and I have to finish what I... This... This is something I have to do for myself. Okay, okay, you win. So we'll be aiming for the desert center. Huh? Hey, I tried talking sense in you idiots. Rita. There's actually no real need for you to come, Rita. You've got your air and air research to worry about, don't you? There's no telling what you idiots will get into if I don't keep an eye on you. The air crane isn't going anywhere. I'll go check up on it later. But we're not leaving until we've taken care of all our preparations. I'm sorry to be such an inconvenience to you all. I think we had a pretty good idea things would turn out like this from the start. Yeah. Thank you. Huh? Where's Judith? Everything settled? Yeah. Well, what did you decide? We're going to the center of the desert. I had a feeling, so I've made some arrangements. The innkeeper has agreed to help us. 
We'll want to be good and rested before we leave this town behind, that's for sure. You're always thinking about your next nap, aren't you? Yeah, but I sleep so much better if I have a little company. I wonder what Pharaoh will do. She did earn the trophy wife title. Reunite with everyone. Oh, my heart! Oh, well, are you okay, old man? It's just the sound of money gets this old heart racing. Stop that jingling, would you, Carol? Huh? All right, whatever. I can't believe how much gold we have. I bet it would feel great to spend all this gold at once. No way! We still need to save lots more. Ah, sounds like you've got plans for the future, kid. Saving for a hideout for brave Vesperia? No, I wasn't thinking of that. It's just that saving lots of money feels good, you know? You know what they call that, kid? Penny pitching. That's what. There's no use hoarding your money for later. You gotta spend it all at once. Go wild! No, no, that's even worse. You kids have got no sense of moderation. All right, old man, then what do you think we should do with it? Just invest it in Old Raven. My secret guild knowledge will give you back a hundred times as much. Pass. <laughs> Ooh, that hard pass. Oh, my orange gels. They don't exist. Mantake. What's with this night? Mantake. That's how that. It. It feels like some of the letters are being ignored. But I'll. Well, I'll live with um, it. <sighs> will. Will you be staying the night? Yeah, we're going into the desert, so we came into town to gather provisions and get some rest first. Oh, so it's you who wanted provisions for going into the desert. You know, it's. We know it's dangerous. Oh, I see. In that case, I'll get your provisions together before you set out. Your stay will cost 400 gold. Is that okay? Yeah, that's Have fine. Have a nice day. This town kind of gives me the creeps. All these knights stick out like sore thumbs. Anyway, time to get some sleep. Sleepy times! Man, I just can't relax with the night standing out at the entrance. It bothers you? Yeah, it does. If they're here to protect us, there ain't nothing wrong with that, is there? All right, everyone. Let's get some sleep. Mm. Yeah, thanks for the help. Um, I don't know your reasons for going out into the desert, but it would really be a good idea for you to stay in town. Thanks. We've already put a lot of thought into it. I see. Well, as I promised. Our canteens are this small? Looks like enough to me. Yeah, we should be able to get more water from certain types of cacti growing in the desert. 
Right. If we use them to fill up our canteens whenever we need more water, we should be fine. You sure know a lot. Thank you very much. You've been a great help. I don't remember if I actually so have to fill up their canteens as the mechanic. So don't hesitate to use it as much as you like. Go out and turn right where the road forks. You'll find a lake at the end of the road. You'll be able to fill up your canteens there. Gotcha. By the way, what was with the knight who was here? He was guarding me all night. I was so nervous. One lie after another. That was a supervisor. The knights are here to make sure that townspeople don't talk freely to visitors from outside of town. Why would they do something like that? I don't understand the reasons, but it's on the magistrate's orders. People other than merchants like myself aren't allowed out of their houses. I see. That's why we didn't see any townspeople outside. I wonder if there's a crooked magistrate here too. There was no magistrate in this town until recently, and then finally he arrived. Really? Yes. The Imperial Knights have started to move into Norda Polica of late. It seems they may have already gone into arrest Bellius. The appointment of a new Imperial Magistrate to our town seems to be related to that as well. The Imperial Knights are going to arrest Bellius? They say that Bellius had something to do with engineering the Great War behind the scenes. Bellius did that? That's what they're saying in town. Well, I don't think the Empire will be able to do much so long as Palestrali is there, but... <laughs> Thank you very much for your business. Wait! But... Yeah, thanks for the help. Let's go fill up at the lake. Seriously, do I have to... The sky is only on the edge of the desert, but the heat still got my head spinning. Youngsters these days got no stamina, I tell ya. <sighs> Whoa! No comeback from Rita. It's hot. It's so hot. I think she's so hot she didn't even hear him. that break curfew must be punished by the magistrate. No way! We're going to look for mommy and daddy! Leave these children to me. I'll see that they're properly disciplined. Stay out of this, stranger. Please, forgive these children. I will go and apologize in person to the magistrate on their behalf. Hey, wait, aren't you... My deepest apologies. Maybe I could have handled that better? Hey, it worked, didn't it? Thanks for saving us from those bad guys. What are your names? My name's Al. My sister's Layla. What happened to your mom and dad? They got taken into the desert in the Magistrate's big wagon. Someone told me they're going to look for Pharaoh. Pharaoh? Yeah. What do you think they're planning on doing once they find him? And using the townspeople to do their dirty work? It's despicable. Hey, hey, bro, are we gonna go look for mommy and daddy? No, you're not. If you kids go into the desert, you'll die for sure. Way to be gentle about it. Judith! We'll look for your parents. You kids can't go out into the desert. Really? I don't lie. You don't mind, do you, Carol? Nope. Fine by me. You're surprisingly agreeable. His guild is guided by justice, after all. Thanks, everyone! Here, take this. 
this, because you're so nice. A glass bead? It's a precious gem. It's our reward for taking the job. Now that we've gotten paid in advance, we've got our work cut out for us, don't we, Carol? Yeah, you're right. A reward from a kid. Just plain old marble, but it means more than the world to me. But what concerns me is that the Empire is investigating Pharaoh. Okay, but really, if I have to keep your canteen still, I'm actually just probably gonna die. I was just thinking about what the Magistrate here could be planning. It's so strange that he'd be looking for Pharaoh. Though I guess it'd make sense if the Empire wanted to eliminate a monster that was trying to kill the princess. But they don't know that he's after Estelle yet, do they? So why are they going after him then? How should I know? And we still don't know why there's a curfew in the town. Anyway, first we should go to the Sands of Kagor. Right. We can look into the mysteries of this town once we come back. If we don't rescue those kids' parents soon, they'll keel over in this heat. That's true. So then, to get to the middle of the desert, we should go through here, right? Yes. I think the parents of those children were probably taken this way, too. All right. Let's go. The Sands of Kagor. There's no shade anywhere. Never imagined it would be this hot. I do have to keep the canteens full. Oh god, I remember this. Nobody lasts long out here without the proper supplies. What's with him? He looks like he's out for a walk in the park. Hey old man, aren't you hot? Hot? Heck yeah! Uh, I'm sizzling over here, uh, burning right up! That lousy... I feel like the temperature goes up every time somebody says the word hot. We'll be fine, so long as we remember to keep our water well stocked. Right, the cacti. The parents of those children are out there with no supplies whatsoever. We do have Pharaoh to look for, but... Yes. Would it be all right if we took care of Alf and Layla's request first? Um, but... You've more than fulfilled your obligation to me. Estelle! Okay then, let's find their parents. Was that Pharaoh? Then he really is somewhere in the desert! Settle down. We'll get plenty of attention once we're done helping those kids. We keep going and going, but all we get is more sand and more blue sky. You're doing better than me if you can look at the sky, Raven. The only thing I see is sand. How come an old fart like you has so much energy anyway? Talking's only gonna wear you out. If one of us goes down, it'd be about all we could manage to get them back to safety. And I, for one, am in no mood to be giving out piggyback rides. If I collapse, Raven, you can carry me. Sorry, but this back's reserved for ladies only. I'll die before I collapse. I won't let myself be a bird neither. The same goes for me, of course. Hey, there's no reason to go stomping on an old man's feelings, is there? So yeah, we're totally gonna fight stuff while we're out here. Two? Two in a row? Okay. I can get with it. Alright. Oh, yeah. He really paralyzed me.
Okay. Oh my god, there's so many. Sorry, but you're going bye bye. Let's go. Okay, let me see. Um, all right, there's no mini map. Let's fill up our water here. But this is ow, ouch! What an idiot! Use your head a little. Looks like this situation calls for a little extra help. Time. Me next! We need to make sure to keep hydrated. Right. We wouldn't want to get sunstroke. Okay, so I gotta hit it. Everyone's with my finished. Let's brain. go. Gotcha. Okay. You will lose HP gradually as you walk. When the water level of the canteen reaches zero, watch your canteen as you advance. Oh. What's so We got us from behind. Our that was bull. I'm glad y'all didn't need skills, but that was not okay. Oh, you altered an art. Look at you, Carol. Okay. Okay. Y'all just out here learning a bunch of new skills. I'm so proud. I'm just getting started. Yeah, I feel good. Okay. Can't get water from that one now. Uh, what is that? That is the bones of something. I'm trying to. I know there's treasure in this area. Oh. That was unexpected. I forgot that there were day and night cycles in the desert. But I guess it's okay, because I'm using my dying keystroke. You're not using all my one shield. Oh. That was interesting. One. I got no time to think. Just beat him senseless and you'll win. Finish that one. Okay, I haven't bought you. Come here. We'll destroy them in no time. Iced bat. Dragon Swarm! Caprice of innocent waters! There are treasure in here, in this area. <sighs> Gosh. I don't even see what's flying in Let's eliminate them! No time to think. Just be okay. So I'm heading back. I don't know why I'm heading back. I should look at turn. 
I wanted to see if there was treasure, but honestly, that is not. Not really right now. Thanks. Oh, my heart is I was wondering why it could be. They're still sealed, aren't they? Yes, they are. Okay. Uh, boom. Turn around. And go to town. Oh no! <laughs> Let me fight you. I haven't fought you yet, I don't think. Let's eliminate them! Okay. Okay, that's it for that. Uh, that is the strongest. Give me enough water. You see nothing. Better stop plodding along like a zombie, or you'll only make yourself more tired. How are you in such good spirits? Some people take pleasure in the suffering of others. Why I oughta. Don't waste your energy. That sort of happiness simply isn't healthy. Hey. Did you hear a voice? No, not at all. By the way, why were you in this desert before? I used to live in a town up in the mountains to the north of here, together with my friend Ba'ul. So, I sometimes came down near the desert. All the way to the desert? Anyway, we hardly had time to look for anything out here. What with this heat? Seriously, if we run out of water, we'll be goners. We need to find something like a clue soon. Yes. Uh. That is not very helpful. Oh, that's helpful though. What? I didn't even touch it. Okay. Let's eliminate them. Are you? Sorry, 
Sweet, you're going bye bye. No, 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 no. What was that? Superstar Zero. Huh. I want to kill it. It's fast. That thing is fast. Oh my god. That's what happens when I get serious. I'm gonna be stuck in this desert for a minute. I'm not happy about it. But here we are. Okay, let me take that. You stop asking, you also stop asking. Yes! I just wanted to find more treasure chests. Oh my god. Skip it. Take it. Doesn't matter. Uh, did, I, did I reach the end? I did reach the end. Cool. Don't I guess. I don't know. I guess I'm going to be like, getting out of here. Granted, yes, I do want to find more treasure chests, but... I did not want to have to consume the water. How do you keep missing when it's standing still? All right, here we go. Yay! All right, we did it. Aww, that was cute. Right away. Oh, I can't go out this way. I actually have to find the center. No! <laughs> Why are there so many enemies? Here we go! There are so many enemies. Oh, wow, that hurt my right. How do you keep missing? And why do you keep using fire? We're in a desert! That's over. Why are there so many enemies? <laughs> Why? Why? Wait, no, I need this. Okay, that's better. Oh my yeah, god, no. No. No, 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 no. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. I can't go over that. Uh, I don't know where I am. Oh my god. Where am I? Uh, haven't I explored like the entirety of this area? I feel like I should have been able to leave. Yeah, I ran all the way back to the start. I'm lost. I can't get that. Okay. Okay, that's helpful. Okay, that was helpful. Alright, so I didn't make it all the way to the end. I went away. And I could go. Okay. Uh, Cool. Lucky. No.
this episode is just gonna be me getting what? Why is that thing so fast? Why is that thing so fast? Wait, you're a different one. No, you're not. Why are you looking? At We're done. What was the point of? Okay, the thing was fast, but... Um, this way, maybe? Ugh, another treasure chest, I guess that's okay. Okay, nope, 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 ah. Oh my! Oh my god! <laughs> Sorry, but oh. you're going bye bye. How's this? Ooh! Oh. 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 Let's get the pepper and some ground. Oh, nice moves! Pretty much all of the skills. Cool. I need to find a cactus. Oh, of course. Sorry, but you're going bye bye. Monsters. Okay. I feel like this is the episode of me being lost. Obviously, lost and probably gonna die in the desert. That is not what I want. I want. There aren't any real landmarks. Oh no, nope, nope, nope. Oh, grab that. Oh, grab that. Can I go down this? No. It's just there for Ugh. Okay. This is awesome. I don't know where I'm going. I did go around that. Oh god. I don't know where to go. I have no idea where to go. Okay, okay. Let me just go up. I'm gonna run out of water soon. Ooh, okay. I've been here. Lord have mercy. Don't hurt us now. 
Feel remorse. What is remorse? Oh, did I not get that one? Yes. Oh, okay. Can I go this way? Yes. Thank you. Oh, I'm out of water. Don't go drinking all of it. Thanks, Yuri. Hey, do you think we could? Take five? And you say I'm the one always wanting to rest. Yeah! <laughs> okay. Huh? The heat's gone and baked his brains. Water! Oh, Carol, be careful. You'll hurt yourself if you fall. <laughs> Looks like he still had plenty of energy. Wait up for old Raven! Here I thought they couldn't bear to go another step. Oh, the luck. Oh, I think I'm in heaven. I thought we were really done for. Hey now, you gotta be tougher than that if you're gonna save the world, kids. Shut up. It'll be dangerous if we just keep going like this. If we turn back now, though, we'll only disappoint those poor children. We've got to keep looking as long as we can. If we're lucky, we may even find Pharaoh along the way. That's right. And with this spring, we shouldn't have any trouble keeping up the search. If you've already eaten the poison, you may as well lick the plate. Yeah, you're right. We've come this far. How about your water bottle, Carol? Did you fill it up? Here. I filled them for you. Here's yours, Rita. Thanks, Judith! Thanks. Everybody else all set? Yes. Oof. All right, let's keep moving. Oh, thank goodness. Hey, I've kind of got something important to say. What a coincidence. I had something I wanted to say, too. Let's, let's get, get out, out of this desert. desert. Is that all you got to say? I think we should be enjoying this hot, sandy landscape myself. How could you possibly enjoy this? We have to get out of this desert. Let's hurry and get out of here. Judith, back me up here. We need to get out of here. Hey! How pathetic. I guess we ought to hurry up and decide whether to go back or press on. <laughs> and thankfully, this is the perfect, or this is pretty much where I wanted to go ahead and end this episode, so. Oh, I already have that. Gosh darn it. <laughs> Well, yeah, as I was saying, this is actually where I wanted to go ahead and end this episode, so I got really lucky with finding this. How oh, cool. I'm just making sure I get all of the stuff I can before I press on. Alright. Well, as I was saying, this is where I'm going to go ahead and end this episode. Like always, I want to thank you guys for joining me here today. Don't forget to hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell to stay notified of all future content updates, including more Tales of Vesperia, Kingdom Hearts 3, I want to say Resident Evil 2, but I actually think I'm going to start another game before I do that one. 
because I think I'm going to actually stream that one live. And I'm thinking I will do that on my Twitch channel and then just record the footage and put it on my YouTube afterward. Because I do need to get some more use out of my Twitch channel because I've been neglecting it for a good while now. <clears throat> but <laughs> that's, that's an issue for another time. So, like always, I want to thank you guys for joining me here today, and I hope you have a wonderful day.